Let's take a closer look at the Combinator. We'll start by creating a blank Combinator, an initialized patch. When you create a Combinator this way, it's empty. There's nothing in it. And you have four knobs and four buttons for all your Combinators, and we'll learn how to set those up in the next video. Let's flip around and take a look at the external routing. Every Combinator has a Combi in and a Combi out. And this is how we get signals in from the outside world and back out to the outside world. Just like we hook a mixer or other device to our main hardware interface in our main rack, with a combinator, we need to hook the external routing, the external output, to something outside the combinator so we can get sound out of the combinator. Anything coming into the combi goes to the two devices ports and Anything coming back from the combi goes to the from devices ports. This will make more sense when we actually add some devices. You see that red line there? That's where I can add a device to my combi, either by dragging it in from my tools window or just by right clicking and choosing the device I want to add. As long as the red line is showing, it's going to be added inside the combinator. And you can see my subtractor goes to the from devices port and then the combi goes to the mixer. So the subtractor passes through the combinator out to the mixer. Now let's add an effect to the subtractor. Again, it will be added within the combinator. And the routing is as you would expect. The subtractor goes to the delay. The output of the delay goes to the from devices area of my combinator. And then the combi out goes to my mixer. When we have a combinator we like, we can save it, just like we can save other patches and other devices. And then we can recall that later. And we can shrink it down, and everything is in there, it's just hidden. Now that's one way to create a combinator. Another way is to start with devices already in your rack. And I'll show you how that works now. I have here a rack with several devices in it. First, there's a mixer. Then I have an organ sample tied to a stereo imager. And below that, I have a maelstrom, and that is connected to a distortion effect. Now, let's say I wanted to take the organ and the imager and put that into a combinator. I can select both devices by holding down the shift key. And then from the right click or context menu, I choose combine. And instantly I get a combinator with those two devices nested inside it. All the cabling has been done for me. The auto routing is working great. The NNXT goes to the stereo imager and the stereo imager goes back to the top of the combi and then out to my mixer outside the combi. If for whatever reason I want to unpack the combi, I can do that also. I select the devices and choose uncombine. The combinator goes away and the devices return to my main rack. So those are two ways of creating combis. Either create a blank one and drag in instruments and effects, or start with instruments and effects in your rack and use the combine command to nest them into a combinator.